Hey everyone, welcome to Board Game Essentials. My name is Kodai. Today I'm going to be teaching you Japur. This is a set collection card game where players are going to be taking cards from a market and selling them for victory points. Let me show you how to play. This is what the setup of the game looks like. Place three camels and two cards from the trade deck. Each player is dealt five cards. Any camels in their hand go horizontal in their own camel herd. So let's go around the board and take a look at things. On the left hand side of the board there are various tokens for the various goods that are going to come out of the trade deck. So on the very bottom is the least expensive and as you move up is the most expensive. Each time players take from the stacks of tokens they're going to be less and less valuable as they go. On the right hand side of the board you're going to notice other various bonus tokens. There's the five point camel token. There's if you sold three goods, if you sold four goods, and if you sold five goods bonus tokens. And then there are the seals of excellence on the right. Each player can do one action on their turn. Either take cards from the center or sell cards, but never both. Take cards! If you take cards, the player has the following options. Take one single good. Take several goods and exchange them with goods from your hand and or camels from your herd. Or take all the camels. Then replace cards with new ones from the draw pile. The max hand size limit is 7. If you have more than 7 cards at the end of your turn, you must discard down to 7. So let me show you what I mean. So take a single good, you're going to grab one from the middle and put it in your hand and you're going to replace it with a new one. You can also instead take several goods and exchange them with goods from your hand. So I could take these two if I wanted and replace them back with ones from my hand or I can replace them back from my, a combination of my hand and camels like so or you could take all the camels from the center so you're gonna grab all the camels place them into your herd and you're gonna refill the center like that To sell cards from your hand, choose one good and discard as many cards of that type as you like to onto the discard pile and earn that many tokens from that good. If the sale is big enough, you can earn three, four, or five sold bonus tokens. Underneath the bonus tokens are different amounts of money for scoring at the end of the game. Do not look at these yet until the end of the game. The only restriction during a sale is when you sell three of the most expensive goods, which is the diamonds, the gold, and the silver. Uh, you must sell at least two at a time for these. So let me show you what I mean. If I want to sell one good, I can. If I sell this, I just put it in the discard pile, and I'm going to grab the very first token over here, like that. If I'm going to sell gold, I have to sell at least more than two. And in my hand right now, I have three. So I'm going to place them in my discard pile, and I'm going to grab three, because I sold three, like that. I would also take a three sold bonus token, because I sold three gold at once on this turn. The round ends immediately if three types of goods are depleted or there are no cards left in the draw pile when trying to fill the market. So when we go over scoring, the player with the most camels in the herd gets the bonus camel token, which is worth five points. Players turn over their bonus tokens and add all of their points together to see who the winner is. The winner takes a seal of excellence to mark his win for the round. Players set up the board again, shuffle the deck and bonus cards, and the loser gets to play first in the next round. Play continues until one player has two seals of excellence. Those are all the essentials to play. Wow, wow, wow.